Hello, everyone. I'm Yang Jie Zhou from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and I'm excited to share our recent work, UGraph, High Performance Graph Operator Computation via Unified Abstraction for Graph Neural Networks. In the first section, I will provide some background on graph neural networks, as well as discuss the motivation behind UGraph. Graphs are fundamental data structures with a wide range of applications in various fields, including social networks, chemistry, recommendation systems, and point clouds. As such, research in graph-related algorithms is crucial in many areas of studies. One important trend in graph algorithms is graph neural networks. The explosive growth of GN released papers in recent years, as seen in this histogram, illustrates their increasing popularity. GNNs combine graph and neural network computations, utilizing two types of operators graph operators and neural network operators. Despite their increasing popularity, high performance GN computing remains a challenge field due to two key obstacles the complexity of graph operators, and the variability of graph data. Currently, GN frameworks support 116 graph operators with different computational operations, input-output type, and memory access patterns. However, real-world graph datasets can vary significantly in terms of balance, scale, density, and among other factors. For example, MIPE type graphs are usually more balanced, while social network graphs may have a poor low degree distribution, making it challenging to optimize. In addition, existing methods have limitations, such as static strategy and low scalability, which make it difficult to provide high-performance computation support for new and dynamic scenarios. Moving on to our results, we compare two operators, weighted aggregation sum and unweighted aggregation max. And we can find that occupancy is significantly lower for imbalanced graphs than balanced ones. Additionally, smaller graphs have a lower SME efficiency, but a higher L2 cash hit rate than larger graphs. Furthermore, we also can observe irritation in the results between the two operations. Therefore, it is clear that the performance bounds vary depending on the computation scenario. The question that arises, given the above challenges and limitations, how can we achieve unified optimization for complex computing scenarios? So, how does UGraph solve these challenges? We will introduce the main design of UGraph in the following. We begin by focusing on the classic graph operator, aggregation sum. Aggregation sum is the most commonly used graph operator in GNs, merging and accumulating the features of each enable vertex for every vertex to obtain a new feature vector result. This operation can be represented by the code on the right. However, we face a new challenge. Dealing with too many different graph operators in GNs, these operators can have different inputs, output, data access, and movement, as well as different computational operations. Therefore, a question arises. Do we need to independent encode for each operator? Or can we build a unified abstraction that applies to all graph operators? We use a unified abstraction to solve the problem successfully. Our unified abstraction provides a common template that abstracts all graph operators. It contains three main parts, nested for loop, address calculation, and result calculation. We then use dynamic input parameters, age operators, Gather operators and input output tensor type 
The tensor type determines the addressing pattern of the corresponding tensor. By using these unified structures and the dynamic parameter specifications, we achieve a unified expression of the semantics of the all graph operators. Next, we highlight another important capability of our abstraction, decoupling computation and scheduling. This feature allows us to construct a strategy space. Continually with the aggregation sum operator as an example, we transform and map the for loop of aggregation sum. For example, we map each destination vertex to a thread, or map each edge to a thread. Then, construct the typical graph operator execution strategies, thread vertex and thread edge. Additionally, we can apply a similar method to map a computational task from the thread level to the warp level. For example, by mapping the for loop of a destination vertex to a warp, all threads in the warp can process 22 consecutive features data in parallel. This enables us to provide execution strategy for warp vertex and warp edge. Meanwhile, we further implement two fine green control parameters on top of those four coarse green strategies. The first one is vertex edge level grouping, which transform to previous one to one mapping into one to many mapping. The second is feature tiling, which allows us to allocate multiple threads or warp in the feature dimensions. Together, these parameters allow us to create a comprehensive strategy space based on our unified abstractions. However, a valid question arise. What are the differences between these strategies? And it is necessary to have so many different execution strategies. We further explore the impact of different strategies by analyzing the strategy chart of space. We focus on the well understood three dimensional optimization space parallelism, locality, and work efficiency. Starting with the thread vertex at the central point, we analyze the thread edge. Since the number of edge in your graph is usually much larger than the number of vertex, edge level strategies have a great parallelism. However, thread edge strategies reduce output reuse and potentially create read write conflicts, resulting in lower work efficiency. We use a similar analyze method to observe that warp level strategy can increase parallelism while reducing locality, and groupings increase locality but reduce parallelism, while feature tiling is the opposite. It's important to note that both fan greens parameters introduce additionally adjust calculation, which in turn reduce work efficiency. By examining these trade-offs, we can identify the strengths and the limitations of different strategies and choose the one that best fits our specific computational needs. Next, we introduce our implementation where we use a unified abstraction to implement a unified interface. We first implement a unified interface at the CUDA level, which consists of two parts. The first part is a global function that determines scheduling, and the second part is a device function that determines computation. The device function dynamically combines with the global function as a template parameters, allowing for different scheduling strategy for different operators. We then use PyBand to implement the corresponding interface at the Python level, and we integrate this interface with existing high-level frameworks. Finally, at the runtime, we use LightGBM to analyze input, graph, and operate information and select the most suitable scheduling strategy for runtime situation. In next section, we will introduce our evaluation. We evaluated the U-Grapher using two hardware platforms, V100 and A100 GPU. We compare U-Grapher with DGL, PyG, GeoAdvisor on four G 
GN modules, GCN, GIN, GAT, and GraphSage. We also evaluated different versions of the GraphSage module that use max, sum, and mean aggregators. In addition, we use 15 real-world graph datasets as our evaluation benchmarks. Our experimental results shows that UGRAPH outperforms all baselines on both V100 and A100 GPU, providing significant performance improvements. This confirms the effectiveness of UGRAPH in enhancing performance. We further conduct the strategy analyze. In the table on the right, Different color correspond to different course level strategies. We can observe that all strategies would be used and different strategies would be adopted in different computational scenarios. This further proves the variability of GN computation and the necessities of constructing the strategy space in UGRAPH. Now we get to the conclusion. In this work, we analyze the inefficiency of existing GN frameworks at the kernel level for different graph operators and different input graph datasets. And we propose a unified abstraction. Based on decoupling and scheduling on this abstraction, we are able to automatically provide high performance generation of computation code for different scenarios. Additionally, we design a unified interface UGRAPH. Based on UGRAPH, we are able to achieve an average performance improvement of 3.5 compared to previous methods. Thanks for listening. Any question 